guys it is thursday um it is the last day of mercury retrograde which for those of you who don't know what that means it means we can communicate effectively again if you're into astrology i'm a taurus in case you wondered why you hate me so much that's probably why <laughs> i'm here to spill tea I don't really like, I don't care for hot tea, you know? Um, it's not my jam, but I am here to spill the coffee tea on um, what I do on my days off. I put that in quotations because I don't really have any days off, not really. Because even on my days off of muggle work, um, which is what I refer to, I, I did actually go to a muggle job today, which is why I look so fancy. I'd like to thank my friend Tina from Montessori for this lovely shirt. I wear it all the time to my muggle jobs. Thanks, pal. I wear the other ones you gave me too. You gave me such nice shirts. <laughs> I wear them all the time. Um, but on my days off, uh, I was going to tell you about that whole process. So in an earlier video, I referenced acting websites which are actually, I guess, more accurately, more like casting websites. Um, basically, there are various websites, which a lot of my actor friends already know, so if you're watching this and you already an, are an actor, if you don't know this, you should. <laughs> if you do know this, it's probably not worth your while to watch because it's just full of stuff you already know. But for my non-actor friends that are like, how does she even audition for this stuff? Like, who does she know? What is she selling out there? Um, I'm not selling <laughs> anything, unfortunately, except for my time. Um, I, uh, acting is such a fun business, and it is a business. Um, you are the CEO of your company, and your company is you, and your product is you, and you have to market yourself. And it's, if you don't know how to go about it, it can be such a frustrating process. The good news is there's lots of resources that tell you about the business side of acting, which you may not learn in school because a lot of school focus is on acting itself, which is great, which is definitely necessary if you want to be an actor. But I mean, some actors can act without training, but if you go for the training, that's what you want to learn is how to act, right? How to have stage presence, how to have how to act on a camera, it's, it's very, you know, it's, it varies a lot. Um, but I think the part of acting that doesn't get covered and should more is the business side of things, which isn't just, just you know, headshot resume done. Headshot resume, cover letter done. It's not, not at all, not done. Because there, this is also something I actually did learn about in school, which is, um, well, I learned about a couple of them, but there are casting websites and in any good business, you have to invest in your business. A lot of times you get return. <laughs> in acting, however, you invest and you invest and you invest and you invest and you don't get a lot of return, not really. It's so fun. <laughs> um, because for these particular casting websites, what happens is you pay. It's almost like having a magazine subscription. Some of them actually started as magazines, obviously, before the advent of the internet. They started as magazines and you would go through and find auditions and you would just show up at the auditions. Now, they've moved their business models to being online, thanks internet, and you can find um, audition listings and cast break or audition breakdowns and things like that. And you can submit yourself to projects that you are applicable uh, ap applicable <laughs> that's a stupid word that fit your character basically um <laughs> you um a lot of people actually submit for things that they have no some people go through these casting websites and just submit 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 to everything and it makes no sense because really you're just wasting everyone's time including your own because the likelihood that you're going to be considered for something you can't actually portray 
like if you were a 30 year old white female why would you apply to a three-year-old black male like it's it's nonsense right so um the way to go about it is to read the character breakdown and say okay yes i could do that or no nah, that doesn't really sound like me and you submit and sometimes you'll hear back and people will ask you to audition they'll ask you to go to a place and audition or they'll ask you to submit a self-tape audition those are my favorite because you can just do it in the comfort of your home and you can just wear a shirt and shorts and slippers like i did yesterday i did a self-tape and i was business on top and party at the bottom because you know <laughs> you only see half of you <laughs> so um but yeah, casting websites, and they cost, they're not cheap. Some of them are actually better priced than others, but for a lot of them, you're paying, oh, upwards of $150 a year. And if you're on multiple, you're paying monthly subscriptions to multiple websites. And then you've got classes, and some classes will cost upward of $200. I did, I did one recently that was nearly $300 for four sessions, for four, you know, classes. It's, it's crazy, you have to invest a lot. And then you've got your headshots, which for really great headshots, you should be paying upwards of $200. And then you've got, you, you just have to keep investing in your product and continue to market yourself so that you can hopefully get some return on all of the fine tuning you do for your career. Um, but I just wanted to talk about the casting websites and kind of let you all know how that all came about. Funny story. Not that funny. I didn't think it was that funny, but my phone decided to forget how to take a video right in the middle of that whole spiel and just was like, stop talking, God. So, um, I don't really have any further like explanations off the top of my head. Um, I was just kind of trying to explain what I do on a day off, which is I literally sit at my computer and I search for audition listings or character breakdowns or whatever that I'm appropriate for and I just submit over and over and over. And then if I, get any requests for a self-tape self audition, I try to do those immediately. Um, I was told by someone who uh, interviewed me as a, like they were a potential manager type, which was interesting. Um, if you want further deeds on that, just like message me, text me, and I can tell you the story. I don't wanna like post about it because He's a professional and I'm a professional and I don't wanna like, I don't know, it just seems like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, but I can spill the tea on that privately. Um, but from this prospective manager, he shed some light on self-tape auditions and how you should really try to do them within the first 24 hours because at a certain point, how many have they already received? Are they even considering you anymore? Um, solid point. Um, but yeah, let's see, I just keep going into tangents. There's just so much about the acting business I could just go on and on about. If any of my actor friends or prospective actor friends, if you're young and have questions and you're like, oh, this sounds stupid, it's not stupid. We're all in this together. We're all in the trenches, guys. So ask away. I'm kind of in the midst of it. So I had a friend reach out to me recently who was thinking about a move to LA, which was so exciting. He was like, do you have advice? And I was like, hang on. I'll write a memoir <laughs> or, you know, whatever. And so I, I just typed up a novel of responses, which he found very helpful, but I felt bad that I gave him so much reading homework. Um, but if you have questions and you would like brief answers or incredibly long winded answers, feel free to reach out. I'm here. I have lots of advice. Yeah, I think that's probably enough for those of you who are still here. Have a great rest of your weekend. Again, Mercury retrograde is over, so 
Yay, we get to communicate effectively again. It's gonna be dope. Um, and for those of you who thought I was out here selling crack to get auditions, <sighs> only some can be so lucky. I'm not selling crack, I'm just on my computer. <laughs> so fun. Um, yeah, it's just if anyone has any further questions I can answer, spill the tea on, sis, let me know. Um, yeah, that seems like enough. All right, ciao.